In one of the largest studies ever done on Americans' religious involvement, researchers found millennials, or young adults born between 1981 and 1997, may be the least religious U.S. generation in the last 60 years. Joining me with the st is the study's lead researcher, San Diego State University psychology professor Jean Twangy, author of the book Generation Me, Why Americans Are More Confident, assertive, entitled, and more miserable than before, than ever before. Now, uh, your data from these national studies on 11 million teens, I understand ages 13 to 18, yeah. uh, found many high school students just aren't participating in religious activities. What are some of the key findings? Mm -hmm. So we were able to look at teens all the way back to the 1960s and compare them to where they look like now. And we found that there's been a really big decline in religious involvement and interest among American teenagers. So two to three times as many um, don't affiliate with the religion, about twice as many say they never attend religious services and about 75 percent more uh, say that religion is not at all important in their lives. 75 percent more than there used to be back exactly. in the previous generation. That's so right. th this study comes on the heels of a recent Pew Research study that mm -hmm. found Americans with no affiliation to religion uh, rose 23 percent last year compared mm -hmm. to the 16 percent of people who said that mm -hmm. in 2007. Mm -hmm. So how does this millennial shift now compared to other generations like baby boomers or Gen Xers? Yeah, that was one of our main goals in this study because you know, the Pew study is very interesting, but it only goes back to 2007. So it can't really tell us if millennials are less religious just because they're young, they're childless and unsettled, or if it's really a true cultural and generational shift. So that was really one of our biggest goals was to try to find that out. And we did find it was a true cultural shift that millennials are less religious than baby boomers and Gen Xers were at the same age when they were teenagers in the 60s through the uh, 1990s. Now, did your study find uh, religious attitudes varied between genders and or where these students lived? Yeah, so we found that the changes were a little bigger for girls than for boys, that their uh, religious involvement was declining more. We found very little change for black teens. They didn't change much at all. They're uh, significantly more religious than white teens, and that stayed the same. And then based on region, we found the biggest declines in the northeastern United States. States. Anna, what trends or any emerged as to why teens aren't as interested in religion now as they used to be? Well, I think it is important to put this, this in the broader cultural context. And what we found over a bunch of studies is that the American culture has become more individualistic. So an individualistic culture places more emphasis on the self and less on social rules. And you can see by the definition immediately why religion might be an uncomfortable sell. Um, that individualism and religion um, may not fit together all that well because it involves joining a group, it involves something outside of the self, it involves following certain rules. So that may be one of the reasons why our religious involvement is declining. Now, did this study address spirituality versus a religion as, as far as the interest goes and, and what that means to this, this generation? Yeah, so a lot of people have advanced the theory that maybe religion is declining, but spirituality is either staying the same or has actually come in to replace religion and has gone up. Uh, but we were able to look at in the entering college students, there's a question about whether they thought they were above average in spirituality, and that actually has gone down. So fewer college students think that they're highly spiritual now compared to the 90s. So that suggests that this trend away from religion is also away from spirituality. So it's toward true secularism and not toward spirituality instead of religion. What does this data tell you about the future of religion in our country? I think it says a lot about where our country's going overall. So we have these, these individualistic trends. We've also got a decline in the number of people who are getting married, and then the number of people who are getting involved in, in religion. So you take those things all together, I think eventually the United States is gonna end up looking like Northern Europe, where marriage is optional and religious involvement is fairly low. Are there certain religions that are growing though? Is this specific to Christianity, or did you divide it up among uh, did you define the different religions? Yeah, so we didn't look at that. We looked primarily when we're looking at affiliations among those just who said they had no affiliation. So that was our, our main focus, um, especially in just to see the people who are, comp who are really removing themselves from any religious involvement. Those who said they never attend services, religion isn't important at all, that they don't have an affiliation. All right, this Millennials Religious Study is published, I understand, in the Journal of Plus One. Mm -hmm. So congrats on that. Professor Jean Twangy, thank you so much. Thank you.